prophylactics. <coughs> Incidentally, you're not the first one since I started using that term to tell me they don't like that word. And I agree it's a little clunky. I just don't know. I just don't know if you. You fucking wonderful recovery, Mr. Eric. I'm not trying to pull any moves. I want her to be. It's, you are happy. smooth as butter right now. I want to be happy. I want everybody to be happy as always. Okay, that's all. I, want, I, I like that environment where everybody's happy and feels heard. Please continue, Kevin. I don't mean to be arguing with you. I'm sorry I had done so this evening. I want you to feel heard. Okay, so I don't remember what I was saying. You're saying how I'm too crazy or I, I need a lot, I have a lot to learn. I, was, I was saying, I just think that I just don't think that you're ready to be as vulnerable as I need a partner to be in a relationship. Except I don't even have any defenses. I think what you need to realize with Eric, because I'm basically a younger version of Eric, much younger, but you have to realize, so like I have the same problem. So it's like, okay, I like this girl, blam, wow. Not only do I want the intimacy, I want the sex, I want the intimacy, I want to freaking hang out, and I want to do, it's, it's a lot all together. So you have to realize when Eric is like, well, when I, I, a hissy Eric, I didn't know this about him. So as far as I'm concerned, on the very first date, I didn't know if he liked me. I knew he wanted to get in my pants. That was evident. But, yeah. you know, when I go on a lot of dates, a lot of them want to get in my pants. So I don't, you know, I don't think, oh, you know, this guy is perfect for me because he wants to get in my pants. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I like the person, I'm not going to ruin it with that. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, and yeah he doesn't yeah, agree yeah. because he thinks that that's not ruining it. But for me... That ruins it because oh, once I'm not thinking about it. I'm just saying, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? See, Eric, it's like I, I see what you're saying. You're you're a lot slower, and like that's something I, I had to like understand. So it's like he sees a good thing, right? He sees you. He's like, oh, this is a great thing. Wow, I like this. And he basically goes crazy, and he's like, I want all of this. And you have to realize. Like, and I'm thinking he's just a horny boy that wants to get laid, like most of them. Which is, yeah, but it, that's that's not it. You just gotta you gotta like you know be around long enough to understand. Guy has something. Mm -hmm. Is it gonna is it gonna be good, Nick? Or hands are raised. His hands are raised. Uh, he's being a good boy. I think it's good. Yeah. Taylor, are you there? I don't have to. I'll stop. I won't do that. Yes, I'm here. Okay, do you think it's wise to hand the mic? It's wise to what? Never mind. I think he's he's decided to, to defer away from the microphone. I was I've been cringing over here. Let let Susie talk. Susie, is that you? Susie, go. What's true? That I'm spoiled or whatever? It's okay. not the whole picture. It's pre yeah. it presented strongly. It's probably the only, the most presentable thing, but it's, it's not even close to the whole picture. Well, and I want to ask, and this is where I was going to, I, I heard you mention something about him being, maybe not being ready for dating or relationship or what have you because of being vulnerable. And then before that, you said compromise, correct? Like you mentioned talking about compromise. You're going to get in, if you, if you want to have a partner, you have to go in knowing that you don't really know the situation, but then as, but as a general, being in a relationship, you you are expected to compromise. It's just okay, and that's what I want to ask: Has he compromised in this situation at all, as he stands right now? No, Ooh. I think pretty but much says. Did he did he apologize and change his talking about it and viewpoint? 
Um, well, I don't know. I haven't talked to him today. I've well, only I mean, he said that during this conversation. You said he did, and then my point is, is, is if, how much has he compromised? And how much have you compromised? But how much have you compromised? Have you, how much willingness of to compromise have you shown? I'm your your effie is awful. I'm sorry. I'm, okay. Susie, you talk. Susie, talk, please. Well, I mean, the thing is this. I think what's more important than whatever conclusion she draws is that we both demonstrate, and all parties demonstrate, an abundance of fairness with other parties, such that rather than that to the extent one is going to per portray them, one errs on the side of portraying them uh, more generously rather than less generously. It's natural goodwill between humans. So I want to really just take this moment to resolve that regardless of what happens between me and any person I date going forward, even if I do throw a little tantrum for a few minutes, um, what I remember always, and I hope everybody else remembers as well, is that it's the long term for persistence and genuine goodwill and good representation of the other that matters. And the intent to do so behind it being displayed consistently that matters. I think that Eric and Kimberly should, or just in general, Eric, you should just probably not talk about it on here. It's not the best kind of thing. Well, that's not going to work if I add that. Not that. Dig a little hole, man. I will not be so constrained. I've got to get a chick who can hang. No, but and no constraints. There'll be a lot. There'll be a lot, lot. You think that Eric and Kimberly should what? I mean, I just think you guys should just talk offline and just figure it out yourselves. I don't think that, I think Eric should do a little less. I think he should do some more introspection and more just like one on one with you. It's not. He uh, uh, say, Eric, you need to stop talking about it online. Obviously, bothered her or something. He didn't say those words, but it's just of it. Yeah, it's basically because yeah. I mean, every look, I here's the thing. Yeah, like it that. Bothered me. It was just I was listening to it, but I couldn't. Oh, I was screaming at the computer. Believe me, but <laughs> I couldn't. Uh, Who the fuck's doing that? It's uh, her. It's, it's her. It's her. It's kids. For sure, it's her. I'm so glad I can't get blamed for this stuff. <laughs> I, I don't know why the fuck is happening. I, nobody can figure out why it's happening. I have no idea. I'm sorry it's happening. It's okay. So anyways, I was saying, I couldn't respond. So it felt like I... This kind of... yeah. <laughs> That's what? fair. If you want to make a video, I'll publish it. Sure. I, don't, I don't. You know, it's, it's fine. It was not a bad date. It yeah, wasn't yeah. a bad, it wasn't a bad progression of narrative either. If you focus on the first moment when I throw a little tantrum about it, then yeah, it sounds bad. But when you put it in context, it's a three act play. There's three videos going from me being mad to me understanding that okay, it's more complicated than that. Yeah. And something that I'm wrong and acknowledging that. That's the most important thing in life. That's where you get justice from. Yeah, but see, that's what I didn't. I, maybe I didn't see those clips where you were admitting that you were wrong. You pretty much in every video that I saw, just basically said that that's it. This is how you are, and you will oh, not wait. Will not wait. So no. it was. Did you look? Did you look on the wall? Maybe, channel? I do it. No, a few. I watched a few. Did you look at the Talking with Famous People channel or just the TWFP Raw? Both. I figured that when you were making those videos, Eric, that she would probably see the the ones initially where you were like, blah, 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 you know, having your hissy fit, and then not so much seeing the end. I was worried that that would happen. I did, I, maybe I didn't see the end. I mean, the important thing is that how many times has somebody thrown a hissy fit in private? Well, here's the thing, Eric. I like, mean, so, like, this, do it all the time. And this is what I'm saying. Like, I think you need to learn about boundaries because I mean, I 
have had, we all do, we all like freaking get frustrated, right? And what do you do? You talk to your boys and like, man, I can't believe this happened, blah, blah, blah. No, it was, it was awesome. I mean, how many times can you go on a date and literally verbatim everything, him and his knickers and all, watch him talking about our date and it, it was awesome. I loved it. But I wanted to be able to respond. <laughs> yeah. It so, was I mean, brilliant. This is brilliant. I, thank you, Kimberly. You didn't, you did absolutely nothing wrong. I fucked up. I learned an important lesson from that. And I'm applying it right away. That's why I'm hopeful that you and I will get to go somewhere and do something again tomorrow, maybe as far as the little type of thing. I gotta be working But anyway, if you get up early, do it like early breakfast or whatever. Wait. And remember though, but listen, hey, hold on, listen. Wait, clear your throat. I couldn't hear what you said. I said, listen, yeah, go out again. But there's a rule now. I don't I can't apply what I learned. And that's why you're not allowed to have sex with me on the second day. <laughs> this is funny. Second date. Second date. Hey. Second date. Second okay. date. I have learned from you. I'm emulating your ways. I'm okay. becoming a wiser and better person because of it. That's why you and I will not have sex on the second date. Well, let's, huh? not, let's not do all that now. No, no. <laughs> I am firm. I am unbending. I am unyielding. I am wearing my chastity belt. I'm going to find a chastity belt. Uh, let's, let's, just, let's just That's say this. Real question: What about a kissy Phil? Yeah. And he's definitely not going to go down on me. Oh. <laughs> That's locker room talk, Missy. Hey, ever. No locker room talk. <laughs> ever. That's sad. I don't, I don't, I don't, let's not let's not predict the future forever. Yeah. Broaden your horizons, Eric. Kimberly knows my stance on this, apparently. Clearly passing the line, crossing the line into locker room talk. We are not. That, that's, a real, that's real stuff, Eric. Yeah, what do you mean? Sorry. Yeah, I mean. Oh. oh, I couldn't hear it Neptune either. I guess yeah. I have to refresh. Well, listen, Kimberly. If there's one thing that it needs to be is in life, it's adaptable. All right. True. <laughs> Man, this is hilarious. Adaptable. If I go out and it's cold, what do I do? I build an igloo. If I go out and it's hot, what do I do? I put a hammock between two trees. You know? If I go on a second date, that's a lot different than a first date. Second dates are not for sex. For my a, Byzantine history, I've got a, a Byzantine tradition a, that I follow. If a woman wants you to go down on her, what do you do? Is it the second date? <laughs> Ever. Is it the second date? <laughs> if you're asking me, do I go down on a woman on a second date? No, it's I don't have that kind of sex on a second date. It's the fourth date, Eric. What date is it? The fourth. Does it have more or less germs? I wasn't saying I wanted him to go down on me or even talk about it on the second date. It's just, it's hard for me to go into this knowing that we will not be intimate in ways that I enjoy. Can't really let me tell you something right away. It's impossible for you to not go into this knowing anything because what? the future is uncertain. We don't know what the future brings, and Eric goes through wildly vacillating changes depending on varying factors. So who knows what that's going to happen? Now, Eric, yeah, I promise. How that. did you get this impression, Eric? What impression? That you don't go, that you don't perform oral intercourse. Or I haven't. I didn't in my last marriage. Ever? No. She heard I Eric. She heard Eric. Long. She heard Susie and I scolding Eric about it. We've been given arguments and everything. That's Everybody stop worrying about whether or not my what my yeah huh? yeah ew. Well, I'm very worried about it. Okay, well that that point is. Let me make this very clear. It's very easy to, and we can all agree. 
I'm not having 